no mā tau te whiwhi kua piri mai tētahi o ngā kaiwhakahaere matua. Lanita, riri nui, tēnā koe te tuahine. Kia ora! Kia ora! I don't have any poi though, I should have brought some and done a bit of a twirl, eh? Kia ora! Kia ora! Kia ora! Kei te pai, we've got the videos. Kei te pai. Aye. So, tell us about this award that you've just won. Yeah, it was really, really a surprise because um, the Top Shorts Online Film Festival is quite a big one um, internationally. And um, for us to win Best Documentary was, was cool, um, but also not just Best Documentary, but also um, Best um, Audience Online voted for the Best Documentary wow. too. So, um, you know, I, for us, the Kaupapa was always about for the people, um, regardless of awards and um, just getting the stories out there and being inspirational. So for us to have the double was really, really, we were stoked. So tell us about the content of this documentary. What did you have in it? What were the themes that you were trying to, to get across? Uh, Poi Hopes and Dreams is based on a prose that I wrote from my daughter um, a couple years ago because uh, there were things that I wanted to leave her that, that, that you can't physically give, you know, things like you know, tips in life in terms of aroha, how do you deal with that? How do you deal with all these kinds of emotions? And poi as a storytelling device um, allows you to do that. And so from a whakaaro Māori kind of point of view, um, to write something like that and using the personification of poi allowed me to, to write the inspiration for this short film. We, it's, it's a digital project, so we also um, created a web series of the 10 wahine that, um, that share their hopes and dreams for their daughters um, within that kaupapa. And then from that, because it was so cinematic, it, was, it just kind of lent itself to also create a feature short film that we could um, send around the world and share the stories internationally um, so that other people could, could hear these stories because the, the kōrero that we got from these wahine were so amazing. Um, amazing and, and quite touching and I feel like as a wahine and as a mama sometimes they're, they're the kind of kōrero we don't really really talk about you know the struggles of mama and all that kind of stuff and mm -hmm. I just feel like particularly as, as Māori it's nice to hear something nice and, and very very simple in terms of that kind of hononga and kaupapa and aroha. Mm.